How you guys doing? Just wanted to go over a couple of bino harnesses I have. Uh, first off, we have the marsupial standard bino harness, size small, marsupial enclosed bino harness, size medium, and then the Mystery Ranch 10X bino harness. First off, we're gonna talk about all the different shoulder straps. On the standard bino harness, just has a standard webbing strap. Very simple, just very comfortable to wear as well. If you go to the enclosed pack, you have their padded harness, which I wouldn't really say it has much padding at all. It has maybe a little bit more breathability, but where all this webbing comes together, this joint here is about a quarter inch thick. It's kind of a downfall if you're wearing this with a backpack that has a flat panel that can cause a hot spot back there pushing on your back if you've got a long ways to hike. Um, I have a Everly Stock Bandit and the padding is on the sides and it has an opening in the middle. So this isn't really an issue for that. Um, side note, if you want to check out a video on some of the saddle hunting backpacks I have used, go ahead and click on the link above here. Um, one other note with the harness, it has a couple webbing straps here that you can add a little accessory pockets onto the front of the harness where this one does not have those straps. So I prefer this harness over the enclosed harness though, just for that issue of having that big joint in the back. Next up we have the Mystery Ranch harness. This is a very comfortable harness as well. There's no joints in the back. It's going to cause a hot spot. Lots of extra webbing on here, which is nice. Some of the straps on the marsupial aren't quite as long and uh, not a big issue for me. I'm 6'1", uh, but this webbing definitely could be cut off if you don't like to have that much extra webbing on here. Comfortable harness, kind of ran out of adjustment height on the height on your chest here, but it rides very comfortable and nice and snug to your body. Next up, we'll cover the magnets that hold the lid closed and open. They all three open away from you. The magnets on the Mr. Ranch here, there's only a couple magnets and they do not like to hold very well on the top. They hold fine, but on the bottom, does not like to stay closed. It's kind of a drawback to this harness. Some people say with the different magnets too, um, you can get, they can interfere with your compasses. Uh, so with the marsupials, they do make a no magnet version if you're worried about that. Um, so magnets definitely need to be upgraded on this harness. Two marsupials open nicely. They have a big pull tab. This one has a decent pull tab. It's a little bit more flimsy, so it's not as easy to grab sometimes. But if you have accessories on here, sometimes it doesn't want to latch as well. Just something to be mindful of. If there's not accessories on the bottom, it latches and stays closed very nicely. And on the top, closes nicely. No issues there. Same thing with the standard pack. It has magnets all the way across here, just like the enclosed, and across the back there's three magnets. And they're very strong and stay very secure. We'll go over some of the pocket configuration on these. They pretty much have the same pockets, two pockets on the sides, front pocket, back pocket. The Mystery Ranch does have a couple extra pockets, I'll show you here in a second, but drawback to these pockets on the side this material is not very stretchy on the side and it also has a webbing strap here that kind of limits on how much you can actually put in your pocket you could put your rangefinder pouch on this strap if that was the case so you could keep these nice and close to your harness if you wanted to do that route also this pack the front pocket is not a stretch material but it has a pocket on the back two side pockets front pocket go to the Enclosed pack, this front pocket is a nice four-way stretch material. The sides have a nice four-way stretch material as well. And then the back pocket. And on the Mr. Ranch, same two stretch pockets on the sides. It has two additional front pockets. You can put like reed calls and things in. This pocket here is not a stretch material. And then they also have one additional inside pocket here. It's not a very stretch material, but you could slide some small items, 
some tags or a different thing in the front in the front there that you don't want to get lost we'll go over the padding on these packs for the protection of your harness the lid has very little no padding on the sides it's very dense rigid there's not much padding there as well um, the fabric's pretty noisy most of the mystery ranch packs and such are pretty noisy there's very durable fabric but it just has quite a bit of noise to it um, so not a lot of padding in this harness you go to the enclosed pack this fabric on the front's nice and pliable folds very nicely very quiet there's about a quarter inch of padding in the lid and also the sides it's a very nice protective pack overall it's just very nice secure no issues with that protection on that one the lid on the standard pack there's very little padding in this lid as well and on the sides there's not a whole lot so overall the enclosed pack has the best padding and protection for your binos there uh, the color options with the marsupials they have I think five or six different colors a few different camo colors where the mystery ranch has just a couple different color options to choose from the marsupials also have a no magnet option if you wanted to go that route and there's I think just two colors to choose from with those harnesses so we kind of covered the build quality but uh, the enclosed pack is definitely the best build quality pack just protection and coverage of your harness uh, then I would say the standard bino harness here and lastly the mystery inch pack there's not a lot of padding and then on the sides it just doesn't provide a lot of coverage most of the time the sides are flared out you kind of have to shape those a little bit so that the lid closes nicely and actually covers the sides just need to have some upgrades on this vinyl harness also with accessories you can see all of them have webbing here on the bottom so any of the accessories from marsupial or any other third party you can add to the bottom um, this pack has a little slot here you could add the marsupial pockets right here to the side so they fit just like that if you end up going the route with the mystery ranch pack here so go ahead and throw each one of these on kind of show you how they fit and just give you a look of how easy it is to open and close so here's the mystery ranch pack fits nicely fits nice and high i'm out of adjustment on the height here but it does fit nice and snug like i said i'm, I'm 6'1 it is a very comfortable pack um i just need just like to see it upgraded in the magnets and the just the build quality of the lid just to have added protection and also the sides here but that's pretty much it i have a pair of vortex 10 by 50s I'll show you those in here fit in here just fine pretty easy to access and use this one you can kind of shape the front edge a little bit so that your binos can stay at the correct position so you don't have to keep adjusting them when you get them out same with the marsupials they can be adjusted so that you don't have to keep adjusting your binoculars when it's time to use them next up here we have the enclosed pack have those same 10 by 50 binos in here fit perfect no problem opening and closing so this has their standard buckles on here which you can get a buckle delete kit and it makes your pack rise a little bit higher on your chest here which i have those on the standard pack so i'll show those in here in a second but you can see this lid closes no problem it doesn't catch on the buckles i'll show you one of the issues with the delete kit on the standard pack but see where it rides right underneath the shoulder blades no issue very comfortable pack here so here's the standard bino harness from marsupial like i said it has a buckle delete kit so sometimes when it's closing it likes to catch on those buckles so you just have to be mindful that it closes all the way sometimes it can catch on the buckles and kind of pull it loose a little bit so just something to be mindful of with that harness here overall very comfortable i like this strap system quite a bit it's just very simple and very comfortable so that pretty much covers all three of the different harnesses um, overall i would say the enclosed marsupial pack is the best pack for protection and coverage for your binos uh, then i would say the 
standard pack would be my next choice then the mystery ranch just because the build quality and the magnets just need to need to be upgraded a little bit so if you guys have any questions go ahead and throw those down in the comments for me i appreciate you guys watching if you hit that subscribe button that'd be great i'll catch you on the next one